Hello, welcome to the Retro Code channel and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, now I haven't got the proper mic set up or anything like that so the audio is going to be a little bit more tinny than usual but uh, I wanted to show you something. Now recently I purchased this um, 19, tw well, maybe 20 year old uh, CD player um, as a replacement for the uh, Onkyo one which I have uh, in fact, Onkyo CD players, I've had six of them and they all fail uh, in either the drawer being broken on them, you know, it just keeps opening and closing or the laser's dead or whatever. Um, so I thought, you know, I've had enough. I'm going to uh, spend a little bit more cash, uh, not too much actually, only 8,000 yen for a refurbished unit. And I've been promised that this refurbished um, CD player looks better than the day it came out of the factory. I wonder if that's true or not. So um, let's take a look. Okay, by the way, wearing white trousers in Japan is not strange, okay? <laughs> Before anyone puts that in the comments. Anyway, they're not trousers, they're kind of like white jeans. And no, they're not ladies' jeans before anybody says. <laughs> so um, let's uh, get this box open. You can see here it says a uh, Quademono on it, which means uh, this is something that can be broken, so take care, don't, uh, you know, bash the parcel about. Um, I mean, it's the same thing here, this is actually an official post office stamp saying it's an item that can be damaged, take care. This is, uh, you know, saying this is the way the box should be uh, put upright, same thing here. So, there's certainly a lot of warnings on the actual parcel, um, you can see here, look box goes this way up so yeah um, a lot of care has been uh, taken to make sure that this does not get uh, splattered in the post um, actually talking of which take a look at the box nice a nice fruit box what the hell was it killer mickey fruits mm, all right I, mean, I don't know what fruits were in it it's from JA, the Farmers Association. So uh, yeah, anyway, let's take a look at the CD player. Oh, that would help, wouldn't it? All right. Now, people who sell stuff on eBay should watch this and learn how to pack stuff because I've seen some amazingly poorly packed stuff um, you know, on videos, people, uh, when they buy stuff from eBay, disgusting. Anyway, a lot of Japanese newspapers here. And yeah, what have we got here? Yep, an article on the old Super Cup bike there. Honda's most reliable bike of all time. Alright, let's see what else we got in the newspaper. So a mole dude talking about his house being demolished? <laughs> Probably not. I should read it actually. Um, there we go, what's this here? Ooh, all right. A chair that helps you sit up straight. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, first thing. The remote control. Let's see if that has been um, refurbished as well. Alright, well there's the back of it. As you can see it's shiny. Sticker's gone. No batteries but it's all clean inside. And uh, yeah, I'd say that's in a fairly good condition, wouldn't you? Okay, that's the remote. Let's take a look at the actual machine. Use paper down the side, stop it rattling about. Very common in Japan. Okay. Whoa, take a look at this at the bottom. Isn't that cool? They've actually padded out the bottom to keep the bottom of the machine safe. I like that, that's good. All right, let's uh, get this out of the way. And, oh, 
open the actual CD player. Okay. Now it's actually covered the CD player in newspaper, which I'm not too happy about. I hope the print hasn't gone on the actual uh, CD player. <laughs> Even the cables being taped down <laughs> to stop it flying about. Oops, so oh good. <laughs> Uh, where's the end of the uh, bubble wrap? So, I'm sure you can agree that uh, Japanese do pack their stuff very well. I mean, it's expected in this country. If you send anything packed really badly, um, you'll certainly hear about it. Um, in fact, nobody does actually. After living here for 20 years, I've never experienced a parcel coming to my door that wasn't parceled or packed properly. All right. Keep that bubble back. Bloody hell. Take a look. Okay, I like the way he's used this type of tape. This tape does not leave any residue at all. As you can see, comes off perfectly clean. I like this tape. Okay. Now, the moment of truth. Does this machine look better than it did when it came out of the factory? Because that's what I've been promised. Um, well, first of all, the feet at the bottom are very clean. No dust or rubbish on those whatsoever. It's a lot of newspaper. <laughs> Let's take a look at the top of the machine. Well, there does seem to be some um, kind of shine on that. Is after newspaper. No, just a little bit marked up, but it looks fairly good. It does seem a little bit patchy though. I wonder if uh, that can be fixed up with a little bit of a uh, TLC, a little bit of polish maybe. But uh, it's clean. Okay, on the side you can see no dints or bangs, no scrapes. Looks fairly clean, and the front of it. As you can see, it is a TIAC machine and it's nice and shiny. Feels quite smooth too. All right, let's uh, get this connected up to the system and see how it runs. That's pretty cool, it's got a dedicated headphone socket. Nice. Just a quick look to <laughs> let you see that even the cable, the plug, has been cleaned. <laughs> oh, that's attention to detail. Lovely stuff. All right, let's get this set up. So here we have the new TX CD player connected to the old Onkyo amp and graphic equalizer, along with the classic front-loading Sony record player. Now it does look a little bit weird stuck underneath here because you know it's certainly a completely different design. In fact, this is the original CD player that was a. Uh, Part of this design and um, although it does look the part it doesn't bloody work so originally the uh, laser went on it and I replaced the laser fixed all that up and it worked for a while and then the draw went on it and I fixed the draw and then the draw broke again fixed it the laser broke again and then the draw broke again so I <laughs> just give up in the end and we've gone for this TIAC here all right so let's see if it's working now the TIAC is connected to the amplifier for the power. This has uh, a power output on it. Actually it has two power outputs on it, so the graphic equalizer is also powered by the by the uh, Onkyo. So maybe if we, oh okay. The CD player will plug, uh, will switch on without the amplifier on, which is handy, because I can still listen to CDs using the headphone jack. 
Okay, let's get the amp switched on. Crack equalizer comes on too. And let's see if this will work. So, we need a CD. Here we go with Johnny H Jazz. <laughs> okay, so yeah, anyone from the UK um, who was into their pop music in the mid 80s will know who Johnny H Jazz are. All right, so this is actually the limited edition or special edition, which has uh, all the albums, remixes and stuff. All right, the 30th anniversary edition. So let's plonk it in and see if it plays. All right, well, the draw opens fairly quickly. Not too sudden though. All right, is it gonna read the disc? Yep, read that pretty quickly. I like the uh, LED display there, it's quite bright. Let's see if it will play the disc. Yep, no problem whatsoever. All right, now some of you may be notice noticing that it actually has MD up here for mini disc. That's because the CD input on this is digital only. And uh, this is using analog out into the amplifier. Just stop that. <laughs> but um, the MD player, uh, the MD input on this does have analog. Let's see if we go to uh, CD, then you're not going to get any sound whatsoever. Where's Playgon? Here it is. Yeah, because it's uh, not connected up via a digital input. But not that it matters. Yeah, we can skip backwards. Track 10. Playing that just fine as well. Good stuff. Oh, I am happy with that. Nice. It slowed down the disc before ejecting it. Good stuff. All right. So you may also notice that this player has MP3 written down here. That's because this machine will play discs full of MP3s. It'll also play uh, CDRs and CDRWs. But I won't be using the MP3 play, the, the MP3, the MP3 function because I have this tablet here, and basically this tablet is filled with a 128 gigabytes S micro SD card, and it has all my music on it. And this connects to the amplifier anyway via Bluetooth. So. No problem, that's a high definition Bluetooth as well. What's it called? I uh, can't remember the phrase it uses now. I'll write it in at the bottom of the screen. But anyway, that is a quick look at something uh, bought from Japanese Yahoo Auctions. Um, something that's been completely restored from scratch. Uh, it's got all new caps, new drive uh, belts, everything like that. Uh, LCD screens being changed and everything. So yeah, it uh, seems to be working fairly good and um, came well packed anyway a bit out of the ordinary for <laughs> my retro core video um, but I tell you what since you're here I'm sure you want to see the old Sony record player open up let's just give that a little swizz yeah I'll never get fed up with that <laughs> that is excellent <laughs> all right Okay, so we'll be back with our regular type videos next time. Um, if you're interested in seeing any more technology-based videos, uh, let me know. I've got quite a bit of tech in the house. Uh, I would be uh, happy to show you some of that in the future. Anyway, until next time, guys, keep on gaming and enjoy your games. Bye.